So Sony is apparently deleting videos though. Yay! We are talking about PS5 Pro. Apparently documents ended up getting leaked out as well and images going around and there's a ton of crap going around and we're also hearing that Sony's working on an 8K resolution. Stop the cap. One if you think that's cap if you think that's gonna happen like the video if you think uh, we should be getting more games than consoles first of all check this out i gotta show you guys this roll it uh, with the headline that ps5 pro is real and developers are getting ready for it uh which is a nice attention grabbing headline so this uh did get a lot of attention on yeah. uh, x and also the ps5 subreddit so if you did see this sony ps5 pro is real and devs are getting ready for it if you have been hearing about the ps5 pro since like 2021 that it's gonna be coming out this year then we can go over what happened here which is the article is more or less them corroborating the same info we we already knew about from uh, the earlier reports from Tom Henderson writing for Insider Gaming and also um, Moore's Law is Dead over on his YouTube channel where he published actual documentation uh, that's been shared around with developers and that's kind of how this whole thing uh, yeah. became what it is now, right? You know. Yeah, he apparently also got Buka killed as well. Uh, apparently, yeah, Sony struck his video down and I'm like, why y'all suckers do it, bro? Y'all are just confirming the leaks though. Y'all are, because b before there were a lot of people that were like, nah, bro, PS5 Pro is fake. It's never gonna happen, never gonna happen. And it's like, okay, yeah, sure. Some believed it, others did not. Now Sony took it down and everyone is like, it it's happening. It's developers have had PS5 Pro kits for quite a bit now if you're a first or second party, but recently a lot of third parties were finally given access to all this info, which means yeah. the floodgates opened. So I believe all three of these sources and anybody else have all been seeing the same documentation that developers now have, and it's just a matter of corroborating everything and making it more public. That's how this happened. Uh, so what we can say, though, is that there's just more evidence to it being real if you were not a believer at this point. Trust me, this thing actually is coming yeah. for sure. Uh, but the one... And, and we also are hearing that this is uh, going to make GTA 6 run at 60 FPS but apparently Digital Foundry says that if GTA 6 is not gonna be 60 FPS on the normal PS5, normal Xbox Series X, then it's probably not gonna be 60 FPS on the Pro as either. So, and a lot of people were like, bro, like, why? Like, what the hell? So, like, I wanted to buy the Pro. I wanna, I wanna, like, see the Lucia Bruna run in uh, 60 FPS, 8K. Y'all suckers are saying 8K resolution. Guys, uh, honest question, 8K resolution or 60 FPS? I would rather take, like, 1080, 60 than, 4, uh, than 4K, 30 FPS and 8K, 2 FPS, if that makes sense. Where you guys at? A little item we can mention here is that going back to the Moore's Laws Dead video, now it's been taken down at the request of Sony Interactive yeah. Entertainment. So uh, if there was any sort of doubt that this thing was real, there you go. <laughs> Again, I, we all knew it was coming uh, at this point, but uh, take it from somebody that has been covering PlayStation News for 12 years on this channel, publishing over a thousand videos. Sony does not do that often. They rarely do that yep, unless yep, there yep. is, you know, something going on here where, uh, again, with Moore's Laws Dead, they actually published uh, screenshots of the documentation that developers had. They did try to obfuscate it by, you know, putting watermarks on it, which is uh, typical, and also them having the... the oh, poor lads. They they thought that by having watermarks, Sony's not gonna take it down, but Sony's like, nah, fool, nah, fool, we gonna take it down right now. It, it's like one of those things, right? Because I remember when the Lucia Bruna got leaked out, Rockstar was fine if you were talking about GTA 6 leaks, but it's one, it's another thing when you show the world the Bruna, so what people got to see the gameplay, bruh, so what people got to see the Lucia Bruna, bro? So what? So what? Y'all suckers are gonna nerf it re regardless. Hopefully not. Bruh. They're probably not gonna. Hopefully, hopefully not. But you never know, right? Is what I'm saying. So yeah, when people got to see the Lucia Bruna for GTA 6, they took it down. And now uh, these suckers actually uh, leaked the documents. I never really got to see the documents. Uh, do you guys have any pictures of that? Can a brother perhaps get a picture? Source credit, but... Um yeah, that's how you took that video down, confirmed, which, you know, it, <laughs> what does that tell you? Either the info is real or at the very least, you know, with plausible deniability, <laughs> like the info is maybe outdated. But what we have right now is pretty much what this thing is going to be. It's completely locked in. Uh, and there was some items within the Verge report that sounded maybe like they were interpreting the info slightly differently from yeah. uh, the other two sources we've had so far, which, uh, and again, I, I've seen the documents, but I haven't like been able to like go oh, through dang. everything. I've only seen like little snippets here and there. So we're still kind of working off of uh, breadcrumbs dang. based on what's being uh, shared from you know, what is going to be a second uh can my brownness get to see those documents too could you like third hand source things like that what a brother gotta do to uh, get to see the documents um, so before we mention that, just very briefly, here's a quick recap for those that okay. at least want to get caught up on what PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be. So here's the quick bullet points that you need to know. CPU, uh, the current PS5 is still a Zen 2, CPU 3.5 gigahertz, uh, but PS5 Pro is going to increase- 10 person faster, yeah. Bro, add this, bro, this thing is gonna cost a kidney, bro. It's gonna cost a kidney. 
It better be 200% faster or else. It better be 200. Come on, dog. We, we are in the year 2024. Okay, 10% faster. Miss me with that. But apparently, like, the, the graphics card is going to be better. And the reason Digital Foundry says that, like, GTA 6, if it's 30 FPS on PS5, and, and the reason they said that it's not going to be 60 if it's 30 on PS5 is because of the CPU. Because CPU is 10% faster only. Uh, and, and that's like Digital Foundry reason. You never know. Like they might still have the, the performance mode. I hope they have a performance mode. Like the video if you want a performance mode at least. Dislike if you don't want performance mode. I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't want it. But yeah. Uh, increase that speed by basically 10%, like a clean 10%, uh, now running at a capped frequency Bruh. of 3.85 gigahertz, uh, which for developers, what we're hearing is that there there is a high CPU frequency mode that they can choose to utilize where they can take advantage of that extra 10% at the expense of the GPU being downclocked by around 1.5%, uh, resulting in what Sony calls is roughly 1% lower G, uh, GPU performance. Bruh. On the GPU side of things, this is where it's going to be a lot more yeah. uh, interesting because uh, rendering is apparently 45% faster. There's two to three times ray tracing performance. We are also hearing that it's got BVH8 traversal shaders, so it's using AMD's RDNA4 ray tracing hardware instead of the existing <laughs> RDNA2 BVH4 in the current PS5. Uh, that was also a point of contention, I know, for some when I had mentioned that. Yeah, honestly, instead of like 33 teraflops, instead of like 33 teraflops, I rather they making it like, let's just say 20 or 25 teraflops and making the CPU be like at least 30% faster though. You feel what I'm saying? Like just kind of like balance it out. Yeah, teraflops good, but, but like, damn homie. Thoughts? Agree? Disagree? and another PS5 Pro. See, CPU is important too, you know? News discussion topic is that, you know, hearing BVH8 shaders uh, for RDNA 4 tech, that seems way too out there and something that PS5 uh, Pro is not going to utilize. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of what we saw with PS5, uh, the standard console, which is like this, I guess this misnomer around, is it RDNA 1 or 2? Oh, it's got some RDNA 3 features. You yeah. know, Sony is a, a client. They're buying this stuff from AMD. So, I mean, really the things got RDNA features from, you know, a little bit over, everywhere, right? Sony is a customer they can choose and pick the sort of you know gpu features that they want for their hardware uh, so that's the same case here right we're hearing that ps5 pro is going to have this one particular portion of next generation rdna4 tech which is believable that's what they can do right they can get that sort of insight and they can get that yeah, uh, yeah. early in as they're buying into that and amd can you know of course they're working with economy of scale right they're going to be uh, able to I, I think the best thing sony can do right now with ps5 pro is make it so ps plus comes with it for absolutely free <laughs> Yeah, 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 you agree? Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree, and right as we get to the main event, guys, real quick, I want to say, if you're brand new, it's a pleasure to have you. Also, if you want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button, which is next to the subscribe button. Helps out a ton. Shout out to all of you ninjas out there that are subs and members on the channel. Appreciate all of you. I right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo produce that stuff in mass for Sony and uh, all the consoles that they're planning on selling. But the point is, we are hearing that for uh, the GPU side of things. Um, but anyway, we're also hearing that uh, Sony's new in-house solution for the uh, ML uh, AI enhancements is called PSSR, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. Uh, also, we're hearing that it's got 30 workgroup processors, so that should be about 60 CUs versus the standard PS5's uh, 18 what? workgroup processors. So there's probably like four to wow. for yield. So it's like actually 56 CUs that are being used. Uh, memory, current PS5 has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 at 448 gigabytes of bandwidth. Uh, PS5 Pro should be, again, the same 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, Man. but uh, running at a slightly uh, slightly <laughs> higher frequency, 16, gig, uh, 16 gigabytes per second. So the memory bandwidth should be 576 gigabytes. Damn. Uh, the recent new info that we learned is... Can a brother get it at like 5,000 gigabytes per second? <laughs> 5,000, come on, man. That's not that fast. I mean, it's it's fast. I'm, I'm just joking around. But, but still, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell is going on, Sony? What the hell? Where are the games? Where are the games? We demand games. We demand games. Uh, we demand non woke games, but we demand games. Is that Sony is also freeing up more memory to developers on PS5 Pro, so there's going to be an additional 1.2 gigs, uh, which means the usable memory is 13.7 now for developers on PS5 Pro versus 12.5 on the standard PS5. Um, Again, there's some audio enhancements there. The ACV runs at a higher clock speed, resulting in the ACM library having 35% more performance. Uh, more convolution reverbs can now be processed. More FFT or IFFT can be processed. Uh, it's also understood that um, as a means to make PS5 Pro more competitive, which is not my phrasing, but um, they, they want it to Yay. offer the tangible disk drive, which would uh, be ow. Ow. the latest iteration of the standard. Ow, ow, Sony ponies and Xbox will definitely not like it. And we're also, yeah, we had this man apparently coming out and actually he went crazy by saying the PS5 feels like an upgraded PS5 Pro Pro with an SSD on it. 
nothing too spectacular when it comes to innovation. Xbox was right when they called the Series X and S a mid-gen refresh. Bruh. To which a guy says the Xbox Series X is the one that lacks innovation. PS5 gave us DualSense that actually enhances game immersion, a new dashboard plus new capture design to make everything feel fresh and fast. Xbox equals same Xbox One dashboard, same controller, same slow capture system where was the innovation Bruh. so yeah there will be a whole lot of schlong measuring contests when this big boy comes out for There's sure the i love it uh, man. and one terabyte of storage and um what the terabyte? sdk is on version 9. man we better be getting like two terabytes though like the lucia bruna alone is gonna be above one terabyte what are we talking here bro right now and 10.0 is expected in fall this year so with the Verge report, there's the same info, right? They're corroborating yeah. all this stuff, um, but the few lines in there that stuck out to me as maybe I'm interpreting it slightly different uh, to where it sounds like it's new info is that uh, developers are being asked to ensure their games are compatible uh, compatible with the upcoming console with a focus on ray tracing, as in maybe okay. Sony is spending more time uh, creating a dialogue with developers that, hey, maybe you should focus more on adding ray tracing hardware, or excuse me, ray tracing features to this particular game. And uh, it, it doesn't sound like it's a mandate. It, I would be shocked otherwise if, you know, there was this sort of mandate, hey, you have to have, uh, well, rather, you can uh, ship a game without PS5 Pro enhancements, but just... Honestly, like, ray tracing is gonna look fire on Stellar Blade. Normally, I would go with, like, yeah, not always, the uh, frame rate over everything, right? 60 gotta be, come on, dog, like, 60, am I the crazy one? Or you guys think that, no, bro, like, 20 FPS is fine, 30 FPS. 30 FPS for single-player games? Okay, I can understand that. Like, if you're playing a single-player story games. But if you're playing multiplayer example, like, FPS game, yo, 60 FPS, that's a must, though. And everything is better in 60 FPS, don't get me wrong. But, okay, I, I can understand for, like, a single-player game, for example, God of War. Although it has a 60 FPS performance mode, I get it. Like, Spider-Man as well. But, but yeah, for games like that, 30 FPS, I can understand that if you're, like, raid to the max 4k resolution right uh, and then you can have 30 i can understand that but still like uh, guys like we're in 2024 dog like 60 fps should be the bare minimum though you guys agree you guys disagree but with, with a game like stellar blade i mean sheesh bro that 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 that, that, that ray tracing ray tracing is gonna look very good you know now when you start submitting these uh, submitting these games for certification uh you can start benchmarking uh ps you can start benchmarking the compatibility on ps5 pro just to make sure the game works i would imagine that's kind of what's being interpreted I here because so. again i don't think there's but a it works. that studios have to offer ps5 pro enhancements just that they could because the benefit there is that if they do then they can get the trinity enhanced label trinity being yeah a ps5 okay, what, are, is that, what are the important benefits let's see uh, it's understood that this is not going to be the same scenario that ps4 and ps4 pro saw where if a studio wanted to update a game with ps4 pro enhancements they would have to bring it up to the most recent uh, sdk which for some games made on ps4 you know around between 2013 when the console came out to let's say up to 2016 well the closer you get the easier it might be for a studio in terms of you know time investment the resource management to update that particular game and that build to the most recent sdk um but that's kind of why, like, for PS4 Pro, a lot of early PS4 games never saw uh, PlayStation 4 Pro enhancements. You know, some studios, they ship a game, and that they, they just kind of leave it as it is, right? Years go yeah. by, if there is new hardware that's introduced... Oh, which... yeah, absolutely, bro, absolutely. Like, that's, like, 90, 95% of the game studios. Game comes out, they peace out. They, they just peace out, you know? <laughs> that, that, yeah. Yeah, familiar. That's my. That's a familiar territory, bro. Was very new for that previous console cycle. Uh, that, that's just why we not we, we saw a lot of early life cycle PS4 games never get touched. Uh, but what we're hearing about for PlayStation 5 Pro is that there's maybe um, that barrier isn't isn't there at least for potentially incorporating PSSR PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. So we could see early gen PS5 native games uh, that don't have to be on the most recent SDK to utilize that feature, which would be really cool and exciting. Um, but there's still uh, obviously the case too where we can get more recent ps5 titles to get that get like true proper patches that also incorporate uh more heavy use into the gpu side of things wow. and adding the, the ray tracing support uh, or adding ray tracing to games that didn't have it i mean there's some very obvious suspects we could see and uh when sony eventually does uh talk about this machine and when we around yeah right like when are they gonna talk about it i think realistically i can see them uh, next time they hold like a PlayStation like big ass uh, PlayStation experience or PlayStation like showcase wh which is likely gonna be around the same time as E3 E3 not happening but Summer Game Fest right usually they, they do it in September but if they do it in September and reveal it then then uh, September October November it, this bad boy 
probably is gonna come out in November unless they delay it, right? So I don't, yeah, I, I think they're they're perhaps gonna reveal it around summertime, and perhaps we're gonna get a conference sometime around the Xbox showcase, the Summer Game Game Fest as well, right? It should be qu very very interesting, guys. Click on this video on the screen. Recently, we had a ton of really bad news about GTA 6, guys. Sadly, I, I'm not sure if you guys got to see it or not. Click on this video on the screen on the left. That video is on my second channel. Check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right.